The biggest lie about working from home is the myth of the beautiful home office that has been perpetuated by Pinterest and all these home decor magazines. Hey everybody, I'm Beth Ann Campbell. I'm author of the corporate book, Where the Hell is My Bacon? and host of the Cafe Grit podcast. Whenever I am out like on Pinterest or looking through a magazine, like a home magazine, I get so fucking annoyed when I see home offices because it's usually a picture of this beautiful, nice desk in a big room. And then there's this lonely, perfect computer. Maybe there's a cup of coffee, maybe a little notebook and a pen or a vase full of fresh flowers. Who the fuck? has an office like that. Where are the sticky notes? Stacks of paper, sticks of paper everywhere. Uh, Utensils from yesterday's lunch. Yep. Like, or maybe a couple days worth of lunches. Where's the dirty coffee cup? Um, The half eaten cough drop, the bottle of vitamins that I never take sorry, vitamins. There are no pens. There's no earphones. Um, Where are the cords? Where are the fucking cords? I have 1,432 cords. I've got a camera. I've got monitors. I've got speakers. I've got my chargers, et cetera, et cetera. Where the fuck are the cords? None of these Pinterest home beauty office fucking work from home spaces have cords. How do you people run your computers? You need power. It's annoying because I want an office like that. I crave an office like that, but it is not humanly possible. What about you? What does your home office look like? Should it be in a magazine? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget, regardless of what your office looks like, you are a fucking badass. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Take it easy.